everybody. What a great day. I'm so glad you're with me. So we're watching, we're tuning in from all over the country. I've been out meeting you. Wanted to say good morning, Ann, in Alaska. <laughs> oh my gosh, all over the country. And here we are, ready for 40 fabulous yeah. years. Yeah. You want to see the quilt? Yeah. I want to remind you, just in case you're tuning in, we're going to start off with the quilt. Ready? Okay, one, two, three. Make noise like you never saw it before. <laughs> Woo! Is that pretty? It is like you never saw it before, huh? Oh, I love all the beautiful patriotic colors. It's just so much fun. And it's really fun, too, watching you on the web because you're getting your, you got your log cabin blocks done. You've got the first three blocks, right? Three, four blocks done. Oh my gosh, and you're already ready for the fourth one. And have you been looking in your book? Do you know what it is? The bear's paw. Oh my goodness, I'm looking. Where is the bear's paw? Down in the bottom. Cool. I love it. I love it. The bear's paw is one of my favorite blocks. And I started going back through my last books from the last 40 years, and I think I found four of them. You want to see it? You want to hear the progression? How we get into this? Okay, hold on to it. I really love it. So you are not going to believe this book. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trio of Treasure Quilts in 1983. Oh, my gosh. And I opened it up. And it's black and white inside. But this is my this is my home. This is my fireplace. This is my house in Carlsbad. It's cool. And there I am. I'm young. <laughs> How did that happen? And so I had to go back through and see, okay, here we are. The bear's paw, black and white. Black and white, no color. Nothing at all. That looks really good. Good <laughs> illustrations, though, huh? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if, oh, my sister Patty drew these illustrations. We were doing uh, little paste-up boards. Oh, my gosh. Okay. First, Bear's Paw. You want to see the second one? Yeah. All right. See if you know this book. Yeah. Yes. Made you made this one, and it's called? Bears in the Woods. Bears in the Woods. And actually, Sue and I worked on this book together. Let's see. Uh, designed by Sue Bouchard, and then I, I worked with the directions on it. In 1997. 97. And here it is inside. Color now. Aren't we fancy? <laughs> and this one she actually has, and Teresa has it. It's called Bear Valley. Bear Valley. Do you remember? Bear Valley. And look at this. We actually went to Montana and shot a lot of these pictures. We shot our video in Montana. Oh, it was really fun. And I remember, um, look, that was a real bear. A real bear. And this is the bear spot. And then this one, it's just the claws of the bear and then the applique in the center. Okay, did I say 97? Second one. How we doing? Okay. And this one. Third time. Oh, yeah. See, just in case you don't have these books already, I was thinking you might want to pick them up, right? <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing, we still have them in inventory. 2003. Not, not the same books. <laughs> that was dumb. We reprint all the time. So, Underground Railroad. And this is Sue's Underground Railroad. Uh, and then it just really tells all about the uh, slaves, the runaway slaves and their story. And here is the Bears Hall. Oh, you guys are so good. 2003. And I don't know if you've ever used the Underground Railroad book, but this is the story about the Bears Paw just in case you never read it. 
but the story for the slaves was to follow the trail of the bear because the bear knew where he was supposed to find food and water, right? Follow the trail. And what does he do in the winter? He hibernates, he sleeps, so don't run, don't try to escape in the winter, but wait until the spring comes, and then you also have the rains, and you can really follow the trail through the woods to safety. So, do you see this antique quote right here? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the, all of the uh, blocks are, that are the signal, but let's take it away. These are 12-inch blocks. And I think we have, oh, you're doing good. Is this the six inch? Mm -hmm. And this is the little six inch. Oh, isn't that cute? Very, very cute. And look at the little bear's paw block. Isn't that sweet? Very, very cute. Very, very sweet with all of the other blocks as well. Plus, here's the code written down in the corner that a lot of, um, a lot of teachers actually, actually use this book in history. And I do realize that the whole trail of the Underground Railroad could not necessarily be true. It is oral history. And some of it makes a lot of sense. Follow the trail of the bear. And this is the antique quilt of Sue's. This is the turkey red. Is that beautiful? That's beautiful. I love it with the um, setting, the strips, the lattice going down through. This is uh, hand quilted. It does have um, maybe no batting or a flannel sheet. Very, very thin. But it is all hand quilted with lovely little stitches. Beautiful. You want to show the back? See, isn't that pretty? Uh, I love that one. Why two gold and one red? Because they ran out of They fade out. Oh, yeah, because that probably was red at one time, but it faded. She used a different manufacturer, a different um, brand of red. This, see, the, I didn't get know what you were asking at first, Marie, but see, it's all red here. Red. Love red. Did you know I love red? <laughs> and then, so these colors, this was probably a red and it just faded whenever it was washed. So that was how she designed it. She didn't have the plan in the middle, in the beginning, right? And so, and now we have <laughs> da, 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 40 fabulous years. Did you read your book? Yeah. yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. There's good stories, huh? Yeah. There's really good stories. I know. I really enjoyed it, too. So right here, here is the bear's paw on page 81. And I'm going to show you some of the pictures. So the bear's paw is my favorite place to go. It's my happy place. It's my happy place. Do you know whenever I um, leave work on Friday night and I get in my car, and I turn on my engine, I look at my um, iPhone, it says, it's an hour and 15 minutes to Julian. <laughs> Traffic is light. Now get this, in San Diego County, I drive an hour and 15 minutes and don't get on one freeway. <laughs> Are you excited? I am very excited too. So this is, this was taken obviously a while ago. I don't know, maybe just when the bear's paw was new. But do you see all the carved bears? Well, that's why I named my place in the mountains the bear's paw. And Teresa made this quilt and she actually copied it after Sue's. Isn't that something? So the funniest thing is I was telling um, one of my friends that I, um, lived in the mount, had a home in the mountains called the Bear's Paw Ranch. And she said, aren't you afraid to go there? I said, no, why? She said, aren't there bears running around? <laughs> no, it's just the carved bears. It's just the carved bears. And I know what you probably would really enjoy seeing is the inside of my sewing room. This is above the garage, and that's kind of a joke because this was when it was just new and when it was clean. Yeah. <laughs> you should see it now. 
You should see it now. So let me see the next picture that we have. So when you go to the bear's paw, there's lots of lovely woods. And this is one of our Easter egg hunts with the grandchildren. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So this is Orion on top and Grant. And this is Orion's little girl, Zoe. You know Zoe now. She's five. She's quite a bit older. And um, Kylie with her little ears on. She always has to have cat ears. Here she's wearing bunny ears. That's interesting. And Jonas and Becca and Ellie. And playing outside in the outdoors at the Bear's Paw is one of my favorite places. So then we have out, outside, outdoor life. Oh, this is your time to run, Eric. So we have donkeys. Now the donkeys are not my donkeys, but they think that, that I am. It's Michelle, Buck, and Nadine. And this is Michelle, and she's like the leader. She is the leader. She's very aggressive. I'm a little afraid of her. In fact, one time I was walking in the pasture holding my hands with Brian, and he got, she got so mad she bucked me. <laughs> she's very jealous. And Nadine is the, is the donkey that has the stripe down the back, like the Jerusalem donkey. And I told Zoe that it was baby Jesus rode on a donkey just like that. So now she calls that donkey baby Jesus. <laughs> it's really, really fun. My neighbor has three donkeys, and they live in the, the field right next to us. They're Michelle, Bach, and Nadine. And they actually know they're donkeys. <laughs> donkeys! <laughs> so funny. Oh, they're coming. Buck, look at them coming. <sighs> That's it. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Let me hear you. Oh, cool. You're so good. Let me hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. That's very entertaining, huh? I love it. Well, I've told you before that I have chickens up there. And here I'm with one of the chickens. I love the chickens. And um, Jonas told me he loves being a farmer. He was, he was cleaning up the chicken manure. So he has his little tractor, and he loves being a farmer. Isn't that funny? So that's the picture of Jonas. And I just thought, where did my photo, where did my picture of the bear's paw go inside its frame? I lost it. Where you look for it? Well, I had a, I had my, it's on your desk. It's on your desk. <laughs> okay. Well, over on the mantle. Is it over on the mantle, Orion? Can you switch? You love that picture? Yeah, this is actually hangs in my office in the snow. It's like the artist's rendition of um, the bear's paw. And now he's going in close. And yes, it's true, in San Diego County, we get snow. Isn't that something? And so um, I love all of the paintings and such. Help me with the name of the painter, Orion. I'm having a brain fart. Diane Phelan, so well known and I couldn't even think of it. That's what happens. Okay, so anyhow, the Bear's Paw Ranch is just a great place to have parties and open houses and such. Well, this was my uh, 60th birthday party. Happy 60th to the queen of strip quilting. And so I just, I just pulled some pictures that I really liked. Some of these you might know. This is Ico. Ico, they're in my uh, little hat. And this is actually in my garage. This is Diana. She's still in class. Some of these people you'll recognize. And you know who that is, right? So now you can see the property. It is nine <coughs> acres, but it's funny. I told... Um, um, Sue Poser in Minnesota that I lived at the Bear's Paw Ranch and she said how big is your ranch and I said 
nine acres. And she laughed herself silly. She said, here in Minnesota, it's not a ranch until it's at least 60 acres. <laughs> she said, in California, it's a ranch. <laughs> So anyhow, I just pulled. There's a deck and um, lots of trees all around. This actually shows the part of the house in the back, and you can see the logs. It's a genuine log house. It was made from a kit. It was owned by Kristen Zook, and she owned Zook's Fabric Warehouse. Do you remember her? Just down in Poway, and she sold it to me. Do you believe that? And she made it just so fun. And this is our artist, Merritt. Have you never seen Merritt? This is the guy that draws all the pictures. Came to the party, and that's my sister, Judy. And look at Sue, taking out the trash, <laughs> as usual. She's going to love this picture because that's what she's always doing. And Amy Potter showed up with a quilt in her sack. That was too much fun. These are my two sons with their half-brother. And my niece were standing around celebrating, having a good old party. This is Patty with our dog, Tabitha, down the front steps. Fun? Does it look like fun? Yes. So I'm going to have to have another big party and invite you all, huh? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. So this was out underneath on the deck, all Millie in a red hat. Um, Becca, Jonas, and Hymna, and Grant, and Ellie, and some more folks from the group. And I just wanted to show you how conducive the ranch is to hanging quilts. I love to hang quilts. We, we have trained the young men of Julian how to hang quilts. <laughs> <laughs> and every year I'm part of... Um, a quilt show, the Julian Women's Quilt Show, that we hang quilts in the um, town hall. And guess what? It's coming the last Saturday in June. Okay. Yeah, I want to show my little house. And then we're going to get started. So this one I love on the 4th of July. You must know I love the 4th. My birthday is the 3rd, and it's just really fun to hang um, swags and banners and quilts and decorate right off of it. When I looked at it, it looked like just the place for me. And it's my happy place. It really is. So that was good. So what did you think? Cool. All right. So now to business. Let's go. OK, I have some. Uh, I'm going to need some parts over here. So you're going to see a lot of those pictures right on page 80. And on page 81 is the cutting chart. And we have a new ruler. And we decided to call it the bear's paw ruler. And I'm going to show you why. Do you see the little shape of it? Sue and I call it the house, the house ruler. But I'm naming it the bear's paw ruler because, look, it's exactly the same peak on the house. Get it? Get it? You've got to get my humor or <laughs> Teresa's humor. <laughs> but anyhow, it's really fun because in one handy ruler, it has um, the square, how to square up. It's a six and a half inch ruler. And sitting on the top on the roof is for squaring up your half square triangles. Really fun. And so I just wanted to show you how to use it. First, I need to have. A rotary cutter. Woo, good. All right, huh? That would be very, very good. So I have some strips. Teresa made me my strips. And these are for the claws. OK, so there's, there's two basic parts, or maybe even three basic parts, to the block. Let me show you. No, the finished one. Okay, the little one's so cute. Look at that. Is that cute? Yes. That's the 6-inch. Very, very cute. And this is the 12-inch. Very cute. So these are the paws. Get it? Those are the paws. So if those are the paws, what are these? Claws. The claws. Yes. And then this is the lattice in between with um, 
a little cornerstone right in there. But the paws, if you look in your book, are six inch squares. So um, Teresa cut me a six inch strip of both background and stripe. Stripe is the big deal today. Notice the stripe in the claws. And notice they're all going in the same direction. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Rose is saying mine aren't. I noticed, Rose. But I'm going to show you how. <laughs> they all go in the same direction. OK, so what's really fun with this ruler, you can just put the background and the stripe right sides together. It is a square up ruler, so I'm just lining up a six with one in the upper right hand corner, cutting off a six inch square, and then you can just turn it and just cut the second side. Ta da! That was fast. Teresa did all the hard work already. <laughs> so that's the um, background and the stripe for the claws. And then for the paw, you need little four inch squares. So this is really fun. She cut me a four inch strip. You can actually layer cut it. So you just put one in the upper right corner, line up four, and just cut. Easy. You turn it around and make more. Cut another, and you just keep on going. So how, in one block, how many paws do you need? Four. Four. OK, so look at the book real quick. What size are the paws in the six-inch block? Four. They're little, little guys, aren't they, huh? So you just go straight across, straight across. And everything locks really nice on the back. OK, so fun and easy to use the new Bear's paw block. <laughs> Ryan didn't know that. Okay, so you can finish cutting the block and just turn the page. Beep. And now comes the tricky part. Getting those stripes to all go in the same direction. Can you see those stripes? Yeah. Look at your picture. You can actually see them? Yeah. That's good. Because sometimes Merritt draws them a little too little. OK, so my, I do need to have a 6 by 12 to do some diagonal lines. And right on page 82, I have the background and the stripe right sides together. You need to have two sets. Do you see that picture there? You need to have two sets. And then just draw an X on your square. And trust me, this stripe method, I did not believe this. And Sue is the one that really encouraged me. Keep on going. Keep on going. It really works. It really works. OK, so I have my X drawn. I'm using a quarter inch seam. Be good to turn on the machine. Yes? <laughs> OK. Got your stiletto? Yes? Cool, you got to have a stiletto. And it's a quarter inch seam. So you're going to put the bar. I have a bar in my quarter inch foot. And I've really got to turn this on. Turning on would be really good. OK, finally. OK, so now somebody gave me a little jumper scrap. And I'm going to just get the bar lined up on the line, zip right across there, and you can cut or just turn it and sew on the second side. OK, so always whenever I sit down and sew, it takes me a little while to get into it. I sewed last night. It was too much fun. I made a log cabin, the first. Going back, back to my beginnings, huh? OK, so now just pick it up, turn it. Now remember, how many of these are you making? Two. So this is actually really just enough for one block. But you have to make the second one. 
Okay, we're good. Teresa, is your iron hot? Yay! Okay, so now you could take this one. So if this is six inches, if this is a six inch square, what line do we line up on the left edge? Three. You can do it without a calculator. Does it, isn't it something? Oh my gosh, are we just, okay, so now we cut it in force, be, expe, for, especially for what just happened, so it doesn't fall apart. But cut it in force first, and just now cut on the diagonal lines. And so I'm cutting this piece into how many? Eight. Eight. And how many claws does each block have? Four. Okay. You're on it, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to stack this up. Oh, no, I'm going to square it up first. Okay, so now comes the roof of the bear's paw ruler. <laughs> is that fun? This is crazy. Okay, so I'm looking in the book. I'm making a 12-inch block. I want to square this to 2 and a fourth inches. So I took my uh, glow line tape and I lined it up at two and a fourth. Two and a fourth, and that really helps. And so now you just take and line up the, the stitching line with the top of the tape. And so that I can get this done faster, I'm only going to square one side. And then before I even give it to Teresa, I'm just going to cut those little ends off. And it's different than, it's not like a 90 degree angle. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna go slide, line up the top of the tape with the red stitching line with the thread. I'm on the edge, one edge. So all I'm doing is making one cut and then just go loop and loop and you're done. That's good, huh? Okay. So now, Teresa's going to set the seam. How many of these am I going to cut, Teresa? You have some there if you go down the picture. Oh, I hope I have the right ones, though. Yes, you do. I do? Mm -hmm. but I think so. Okay, you can give them to me. Here, let's see how fast we can do this. <laughs> A little bit of teamwork mm -hmm. here, huh? What's that? Just throwing things at Teresa. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Teresa took a lot of those pictures at my birthday party. It was a lot of fun. So, another one. Yeah, and then she texted me this morning, asked me to find this picture for 20 years ago. <laughs> 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 it's like, good luck. <laughs> um, when I first moved and purchased the Bear's Paw, I've had it for nearly 20 years now. She's right. I've had it for nearly 20 years, and I used to do more um, overnight retreats there. And uh, one time I couldn't um, do the retreat. I was out of town. So Teresa uh, took a group up and they sewed in my sewing room and it was really fun. And she took beautiful pictures, but I couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. And she, I texted her and said, oh, I thought Teresa's organized. She might have them. <laughs> so, but and she did. And memory stick somewhere. <laughs> and I still, um, do day classes up in uh, Julian at my in my sewing room. It's equipped with nine sewing machines and Koala Studios. And as soon as Orion will give me a a new Koala Studio, a new AccuQuilt, I'm gonna have that too. Okay, got this. Gone. Was that fast? Was that fast enough? Yeah. Okay, because now. We're going to take all those little stripes and we're going to look at the book at the bottom of page 82. We're following the stripes and trust me, it works. So now first I need to have stripes that go across. I need to have stripes that go across and I'm, this one is going up and down. Nope, this one's going across. Right? Mm -hmm. 
It's just the way you turn it. Oh my gosh, if you're dyslexic, it's hard. Across, across, right? Across, across. So there's two there. And then I need to have in the next one stripes that go up and down. Up and down. Are they going up and down? Up and down? Up and down, right? But um, if you had the second set, you would get all eight. Oh, you just happen to have them here. Okay. So now we have another set that's going across. Let me see. So I have to turn them this way. Oh, Teresa. <laughs> okay, here we go. Like this and like this, right? And then these have to go up and down. So believe me, ask your grandchildren to help you with this. <laughs> you have to follow the stripes. And with eight of them, then you can do it. Right? Across, 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 across. Up and down, up and down, up and down. All right. So this is not the sewing order. I really want to make this clear. This isn't the sewing order because now you have to go to page 83. Okay, to page 83. And will you find me the um, claw that we're making? See, this is really important because I taught this in Paducah and I know what I have to tell you. There are really two pages to this. Do you see where it says sewing first set of claws? You have to turn the page and it says sewing second set of claws because she called me last night and she just stayed on this page and she couldn't finish it. <laughs> and when I taught in Paducah I found out that they sewed everything like this on the first page and forgot to turn to the second page. So Right? Did you do that too? Did that. You did that too. You did it? You guys all did it? Yeah. You, you just have to turn the page. Okay? Turn the page. Okay, so now we're going to look underneath number one, and I want to have the pieces that first go up and down. Okay? Up and down. I want two of them go, that go up and down and beside it, I want two pieces that go across. Do you see that? Two pieces that go across. And I'm just making one block. You have to make two exactly like this. Okay, so now let's set these all aside because we don't need to look at them. We just look up and down. And we're going to flip them right sides together. And then we have to have going across. We're going to flip them right sides together. Good? Yeah. All right. Now this is making just one, one of the um, paws with claws. Okay, and I'm going to assembly line sew them. So whenever I did this with Merritt, whenever he drew those pictures, oh my gosh. These stripes, and I kept on fighting with Sue, said, Sue, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Said, yes, it does, yes, it does. It works with every stripe, just hang on there. So those of you that already did it, what did you think? You said, pardon me? <laughs> what did you say? Turn the page, turn the page. Okay, so I just did what's beside number four. And um, I want you to just look at the way they're pressed in the illustration. And it says press to the left. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to press my seam so it's behind the left, right? And then the second one that I have and it says press to the right. So I'm just going to open it and I'm just going to press to the right. Okay? So one's going to the left and one's going to the Right, and now I need my paw and my little white background. We're really moving, huh? Okay, so this is what we need next. So now this one's going to go here like this, 
and this one's going to go like this, and this is going to go right in there. And so still, what are my stripes doing? They're still going all vertical, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to flip this right sides together and flip this right side. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. This, like this. This is your top and this like this. And the reason that I press the seams on this one down is so that you don't have to fight it. Ah, good. Ah. So how did you like your gifts today? Whoa, you know, everybody around the country, about 2,000 people got that little gift, that little box today. Isn't that fun? I bet the mailmen all around the country were wondering what was in those boxes. <laughs> and I was sure that the cups were going to get broken, but I don't think they did. They were all wrapped good. What's that? Just the box. She shook the box and it didn't rattle. Oh, that's good. And so isn't your bag fun? Okay, so I went down. Now I'm just going to open it up. And I'm going to flip this right sides together. Like so. And now I am on... Uh, five and six, I'm going to have the um, square down at the bottom. This I'm going to press as place as press. This seam goes down. Underneath goes up. Okay, right here it's locking down up. Good? Yeah. All right. So we're nearly done with one of them. And this is not that hard at all, right? Right? Okay, and the thing that I like with these triangles is that you have a perfect match point. You know exactly what you're supposed to stitch at, and I will show you as soon as I take it out there. Perfect. It's too big. Oh, it's not quite exactly. It's a sixteenth of an inch off. Okay, Eric, maybe you could just blur it out. <laughs> <laughs> No, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks pretty good. Let me see if it's perky from the other side. Oh, it's very perky. That's good, huh? I love this fabric. It's so fun. Okay, and so now the final direction, say, toward the paw. This is the paw. Seams go flat towards the paw. All right, one more pressing. And what about your wool pressing mats? Ooh. Ooh, did you get to try them? No. Ooh, you're going to love it. I always tell everybody whenever that, um, the wool pressing mat first came out, I looked at the price, I said, oh, it's too expensive. And I don't even know why, because anything I want, I just put it on my account anyways, but I just thought it was too expensive, and then Teresa gave me one, and then I was very excited. And now I love it. Now I have to have one at every, every iron. Okay. She put it on her account. Yeah, she put it on her account. <laughs> yeah, we were all running around. We were putting pins on. Did you see my pin? Oh, Eric, show my pin. Isn't it nice? Looks good on red, huh? Yeah. There's one more in that little envelope. You'll have to get that one out, Teresa. Okay, so now I need to turn the page. Yeah. Turn the page for the second set of claws, right? Yes. Okay, oh, so this, look at this one. I love quilting a day. <laughs> Guess who that is? See, I'm telling you, I've been smearing royal jelly on my face for years, and then they make a caricature out of me. <laughs> but that looks good. It's pretty good, huh? It's good. I know where you can buy these. Oh, look at this. <laughs> looks like 
whoops, I can't say the word. I'll get cut off. <laughs> there is Big Brother out there watching me. <laughs> huh? Your eyes. My eyes? <laughs> okay, Teresa, so we have two of them done, right? That's looking good. So this is, I know that this is going to go down here, right? Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, so now we need to do the second set of claws, two of them, right? Two of them? Okay, so what's the first picture? The, the little stripes are supposed to go how? Up and down. Up and down, okay. Up and down, up and down, right? Yep. And then the next set, how's that go? Across, across. So if you can see the stripes, you can do it. Yep, like that. Okay, now I have to tell you something. Look at the picture. I want you to flip it like this. The second picture by three. And then like this. Are those right? Is that exactly like your book? Yep. See, right there? Do it just like the first picture. And at this number three, this is what it looks like. I have to tell you. In your book, it's right. But in that one that I gave you at the first lesson, there was a brain fart on the computer. <laughs> it didn't do it right. Okay? So any of you out there using that first book, hey, anybody have that first book? Yeah. Yeah. Let me show. Okay, let's show. Because I don't want anybody to make the mistake, especially if you give this book to somebody. Give it to your friends, okay? This one. This one. It's not right in the second illustration. I don't know what, what they were thinking. Something's wrong, huh? Oh, you know what? There was a second printing. Maybe some of you got it. In the first printing, it wasn't right. Anyhow, just be careful. Follow okay. The book. Number four, it's wrong. Follow yeah. the book. Yeah, number four. Oh, whenever you open it up, number four. Yeah. Number four. Okay, so let us see. One, two, one, two. Yeah, follow the book. That's a good thing. I told Merritt, I said, oh, Merritt. But the book is right. Aren't we glad we have 10,000 correct ones out there? Is that right? So did you read all the stories in the book? But it was right in the first place if you did it right the first time. Okay, so now we're going to cut these two. We're nearly done with this sucker. Okay, so now. So the first one says, press to the right. Open it up. Stripes going up and down. Open to the right. Yay! Second one. Stripes are going Sideways, how am I pressing? To the right, to the right. Do right. good. And now we just need this. And now we need the square right side up. And this. Ooh. Well, that's not right. That looks skimpy. I did it just to make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Now is it right? Yes. You can't imagine how many times I may have made bear's paws just like I showed you. Okay, so now they're all going across, 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 across. Okay, flip it. One, two. Are we doing good? Yes. Are you getting it? Yes. Now it's easier. Now when the teacher shows you, huh? Okay, one, and once again, your seam on this part is going down so you don't have to fight it. 
and make sure you go right through the little point on that V. Did you hear that, Al? Hold that down tight. So the six inch is really cute. It just takes a little bit more time. Line that up. Okay, and then when you go across, you're gonna flip it and it, it just naturally, this one flips under naturally. And take this one and turn it down. So they're going opposite directions right here. One's going up toward the paw, one's going down. All right. So see if you can lay out the lattice and the cornerstone, Teresa. Uh-huh, the lattice and the cornerstone. And we're going to put these all in there. So we selected blue for the little corner, cornerstone. Good, you're doing good. Okay, once again, all of these seams go how? Do you remember? Toward the paw, and everything lays so nice. So I remember when I did the first one, oh my gosh, and the trio of treasure quilts. Oh man, that was really hard. Patty was sitting in my bedroom window. That was, she'd moved just to my house uh, from Georgia and needed a job, and we did that book. I'll never forget that, how tricky it was. Look how, look how cool. Mm -hmm. So let's look. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yes! <laughs> Woo! -hoo! So, and now all you have to do, I'm on completing the bear's paw, it's um, just lay them out and you're going to flip this row, the middle row, to the left, and that's really good, and just set these aside, and I, I often just stack, so when I have it at my machine, I stack from the top down, and so they're all ready. So there are some um, pictures that are right beside me. I'm looking to see if there's anybody in that, on that page that sent in a little uh, story. Do you recognize anybody there? No. Some of you are in it. Did you find yourself? Anybody find your picture in your book? No? Gail, you found your, your little story in your, your little picture. Good. Teresa found hers. David has one. Eric, you didn't write a story to me. Okay. And let me see. Uh, now I'm getting confused because I messed it up. Okay. One more on to it, and then all you have to do is just don't clip these apart. Get this all lined up with your stiletto. And cut. And you're just going to open it up. Ta-da! Just like pins. And then just pick this stack, top down, put it right here, and flip it right sides together. Okay, anybody have any questions? What do you want to know? You're going to say, oh, Elle, you did it so good. I understand it completely. <laughs> oh, please, now's the perfect time. Uh, Okay, do you have a mic on? Okay, so this is the, um, the 30s quilt. 
with red and blue, that is pretty. Do we have any other blocks that are all done? I just wanted to show them if they didn't want to use the stripe. Oh, yes, if you don't want to use the stripe, then you don't have to. Thank heavens. <laughs> but I, I like the stripe. What do you think? I really like the stripe. I thought it add a lot, added a lot to it. And we used the stripe in a couple of the other blocks, too. Ah. All right. So these are the vertical rows. And look quick. How am I supposed to press the blocks now? Top to bottom, joined, and I'm just going to take it and flip right sides together and press the seams toward the background. Okay, toward the background, there on top, toward the background on the opposite side, they lock together right in the middle. And you just go right across there. Ah! Shall I do the last seam? Yes. I, I want to make a whole quilt out of this one, out of this bear's paw. I think it would be really fun. It's like kind of green for the forest. We have such a good time whenever I get up. I go up on Friday night and come back on Monday morning. Like clockwork, my iPhone knows exactly where I am. <laughs> So we have blue jays that come in the morning when we get up and they sit on the porch and they look in the window waiting for their peanuts. And if we don't give them their peanuts right away, they tap on the window. And now they know we often have coffee at three on the porch. Where are they at three? They're on the porch. And we, we try to, um, I just jammed it. Ah. Just got one stuck. But anyhow, um, we try to see how close they'll come to us to get their peanuts. It's pretty exciting. And there are some very shy jays that won't come. And there's a woodpecker that sits off to the side and just squawks and squawks. But he's too scared to come and get his peanuts. So it's just really fun to watch all the birds and you know all of the wildlife that goes on. Very fun. And in the community, whenever we moved there, whenever I got the house there, everybody said, what is there to do in Julian? But there's so much to do because it's like a community. People know each other and have parties together, and it's just really fun. So I always thought it would be fun to have my kids go to school there, my grandchildren, but I don't think they're going to move up the hill. Okay, one more seam. I'm nearly done. And you guys are going to share. Whoa, look at this. Hold on. I stand up. Knees pressed. Okay, so the last seam gets pressed toward the background and the center. Background and center. Good. That was fun. So we're going to share, and you're all going to watch out there. You guys going to share? All right. Let's see what you have. Okay. There's one little seam I want to turn. Okay, so if you have something to share, would you line up there? Oh, Jan, you have something. And we need a mic. Okay, look, Eric's here with the mic. All right, Jan. Okay, line up over on that side. <laughs> okay, Ruth, come on. You're, you're coming first. Okay. So Ruth, Ruth is the show off here. You have a wedding to sh take this to, huh? I do. So, and when's the wedding? He hasn't proposed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't proposed, but we're you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest thing. She's got all of her blocks done. These are for her granddaughter. Yeah. 
her all of her log cabin and all of her peace blocks. Did you have fun doing it? I did. Oh, good thing. And I really could do them. You wrote it well. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so funny. I can't do that. So, what's his name out there? Maybe I shouldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> That is very, very funny. So I just have. Oh, very, very pretty. That's um, memory. That's the quilt. The Christmas star. Look at that. To market, to market. Oh, beautiful. You did good. Now, you don't have to go ahead and get all your blocks finished. This one, I had to improvise a little. My medium wasn't very medium. So I just wrote, ar wrote around the, the flower. So now it looks medium. I put ink around oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the Liberty Star, that looks good. Wow. Terrific. terrific. And Independence Square. Woo! Maybe it'll be finished by next month. Road to month. Paradise. Oh, so that's... um. To market to no, that's um, Eleanor Star. That's right? my favorite. Oh, thank you, Kentucky Chain. All right, you did. And there's good. a hun more than a hundred fabrics. Grandma in Star. It. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, does your granddaughter? She liked she, it. She liked she it. She saw it Sunday. So are they dating? <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> they are. Okay, and there's your bear's paw. Cool. Oh, yes, the bear paw. All right, okay. Don't mix up my block in there. Thank you, Ruth. It wouldn't match. You did good. Okay. So, Dan, okay, okay. and Linda, you can kind of follow up close, so you're real close. I wasn't Come to so me. In industrious. I only uh, did two. Oh, that's good. <laughs> only two. That, that looks Road good. Road guys. Oh, I like your little fussy cut right I'll in cut the center. Yeah. Okay, so let's face the cut. Yeah, see, there you go. Now okay. look him up. Yay, good. I like this block a lot. Yeah. I like it. Grandma Star. Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> okay, Linda. Oh. You guys, give you the book and you just finish. Look at this. This is very pretty. And this is one of your prayer quilts, Linda. Beautiful. Although I may send it to my son. You look very pretty today. I like your blue. This is really nice. It is beautiful. Did you have fun doing it? Oh, definitely, yeah. Cool. It was easy. It was easy. Like everyone else has said, your instructions. Were I pay all easy. these people to come up here and <laughs> say this. Because I did, I did the bear's claw and I did that one that you hadn't taught us yet. Right. <laughs> There's a number of them I haven't taught uh, yet. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Linda. And then I'm oh. starting. This is another one now. Yeah. So this will be. Look how. Woo. Very pretty. Good job. There you go. All right. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Oh, look. I'm so glad you've got both sizes. Good. You I'm got to put these in the border. So I'm making a few of the smaller ones to Good to go with them. idea. Because they're also fun. And that's I'm only doing lap size, so I don't need to make everything, but I want to try all of them. So. But that's a good way to use both sizes right. to put it in there. Good job. But they're so fun. Thank you. Good. <laughs> I like it. Okay, Diane. See? Okay. Let's okay. See. This so is I'm a little intimidating in case your little is. points it aren't is. perfect, huh? <laughs> but they look good. Very nice. I switched the middle on this one intentionally just for the fun of it. Okay. You're allowed to do that. And that does make it fun. It was fun. It yeah. makes it very fun and very right good. To paradise. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Woo, Julie, you this like those so colors. I You're wearing like those. Them. Oh, that's what she <laughs> Everybody always wears the same colors. This is that from they last have. month. Good. And I'm going to be gone, so I went ahead and did my bear's, bear's paw. Bear's paw. Wow, look at that one. That was cool. Okay, Hello. Juliana. All right. Here's my first one. Oh, look at this. I love and this. And it's She's matching little one. She's Aww. got the little, oh, that is so cute. And then I had so much fun with this one. I did a fussy cut in the center. 
Very nice. So it's there, and then my little one with the little starburst there. Very nice. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Okay, Valerie. Oh, look, I love your idea. Look at this. That's really cool. Can I hold one for you? Sure. Okay. So you've got bear's paw in the back. Yes, I do. Very oh, nice. And so how much <laughs> did you do? You did all of them too? Or just, no, no. Just the first three. These are the ones we've done so far. That's a very clever way of um, keeping yeah. your blocks nice yeah. and flat, though. Yes, Especially if you skirts. have an empty closet in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are full of quilts. No, I don't have them. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but that would work good. Anzo? Yes. Oh, look how sweet. A lot of pastels mm -hmm. are coming yes. through. Very nice. And let's see the second one. Pretty. Mm -hmm sweet with that little flower print that looks yeah. like a little little uh, garden mm -hmm. so pretty that's what it'll be um, we took a trip to um, Dublin and there was a, t a place that we went called Powers Court and it was all flowers uh -huh. and so I am using that as my uh, inspiration for this quilt from the great. flowers from that so great yeah very nice thank you very nice <laughs> Sherry See, you guys are, have great, great, beautiful blocks. Oh, see, you like these colors too. She's wearing her colors. <laughs> That's what everybody does. And you have a little fussy cut, little flowers. Beautiful, very, very pretty. They look how pretty they look in the monitor. See, this I is. I could a wear way them. You could. <laughs> you could. What would that look like? <laughs> Applique it on a shirt. <laughs> there you go. Okay, anybody else? The, now, this was both halves that came up, huh? All right. That's cool. Well, thank you. So, follow the trail of the bear and enjoy the spring, huh? Thank you.